Herschel Walker is but one example of, I, I think I can make out four, five, six uh, Republican senatorial candidates uh, across the country who say some wacky stuff. Uh, what's going on and why are, why are these candidates still competitive? You've got, you've got one in Arizona. You've got one in Pennsylvania. You've got one in uh, Wisconsin. You've got one in Georgia. There's, there are a few other examples as well. Well, you're right about that, Ellie. There, there's no question uh, if you look at candidate quality between Democratic incumbents uh, and uh, our candidates uh, in states versus the Republicans, there's a clear contrast. It is very clear. Uh, you played some of the, the comments uh, that Herschel Walker made. Uh, it's very important for the voters uh, in Georgia to take a look at those comments, to compare and contrast uh, with Raphael Warnock. I think the, the differences will be very clear as voters will look at that. But we also knew that these are tough states. Uh, we are competing in battleground states that we knew would tighten as the election uh, got closer uh, to, uh, uh, to fruition. Uh, we also know that Republicans right now are dumping in unprecedented amounts of money, outspending our candidates in these races. And they don't let truth get in the way of their ads as they attack our, our candidates with negative, nasty ads. But they're pouring money into these races, and they're tightening. That's why it's incumbent for us to make sure Democrats uh, across the country, understand what's at stake in this election, understand what is happening in each of these states, and support our Democratic candidates and support the, the DSEC. We have uh, defendthesenate.org, which is our website that will uh, is critical for us to have the resources to fight back against the desperation tactics we're seeing from Republicans in these uh, states. They're tough. We have better candidates. We have better incumbents. It's clear. Uh, but we uh, have to have the resources to make sure that we can run uh, strong right across the finish line in the weeks ahead. I just want to I want to go back to this uh, fundraiser that that President Biden was at this, this evening. I believe you were there as well. Uh, he made some very very strong comments about Russia and Vladimir Putin and the threat of nuclear uh, weaponry. In fact, he said we have not faced the prospect of nuclear Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Cuban Missile Crisis. I didn't realize how much serious damage the previous administration did to our foreign policy. You happen to be the chair of the Homeland Security Committee. Control of the Senate in this particular instance is, is directly tied to our national security, given the saber rattling that, that, uh, that, that Vladimir Putin is up to right now. Well, there's no question uh, about that. It's a very serious uh, situation. Uh, we have to continue to stay strong. Supporting the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian military uh, against uh, Mr. Putin. It's clear that he feels that he's uh, lost uh, the momentum, that he's being pushed into a corner, and he's making some, some very dangerous uh, comments. Uh, he needs to be called out. Uh, clearly, President Biden uh, uh, understands uh, the, the gravity of the situation and is working very hard to, to keep our allies uh, all engaged in this as well. He's uh, certainly the right person to be the president at this very pivotal time uh, in our history. And there's no question the previous administration did an incredible amount of damage uh, in terms of foreign relations uh, with our allies. Thankfully, President Biden has been able to rebuild that bring a coalition together to stand against a, a thug uh, and a dictator uh, who is uh, in the process of murdering people in Ukraine, uh, and we need to stand with the Ukrainian people. I want to ask you about candidate quality. You just talked about that. Mitch McConnell has actually used those words, right? He has expressed concern about candidate quality. Your counterpart on, in the Republican side, who runs the Republican uh, senatorial uh, committee, is not concerned about the Herschel Walkers of the world. I want to just put on, on the screen uh, a few states, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Wisconsin. Tighter rates, races than you might uh, predict in some of those places. Your, your point about you have to get this message out. If, if candidate quality is a real problem, how do you convey that to voters? How do you, what do you do about that? Because you're probably not going to, I don't know if you're going to get Republican voters to vote uh, for Democratic candidates, but you might activate Democratic voters to come out. What's the methodology? Well, well certainly uh, there's no question that we need to have turnout. Mid midterm elections uh, already uh, have uh, lower turnout than you will have in a presidential uh, election. And so turnout makes a huge difference uh, in the midterms. Always important, certainly in presidential elections as well, but it makes a difference in the midterm. We need to have Democrats engaged uh, to understand that our democracy is under assault uh, by Republicans, and particularly these very extreme candidates that are running uh, in these battleground states. These are candidates that 
Donald Trump basically handpicked and put in each of these uh, races. Uh, we have to make sure we're making a very emphatic statement that this is uh, not acceptable. We have to win these races. We need to have the resources to, to mobilize folks. That's why uh, DefendTheSenate.org, our website at the DSEC, is just so important to raise resources to help these candidates uh, turn out folks on election day. And, uh, and that's going to make, uh, make the difference. It's going to be about voter motivation at this point and getting Democrats uh, out in force.